Go ahead. Over the course of the past week, I've spent hours watching videos. Put your button up. Sorry. Over the course of the past week, I've spent hours watching videos of adults testifying for and against same-sex marriage, hoping to find the inspiration that would craft the beginning of the third piece of testimony I've written in favor of these bills. And then it hit me. I was watching videos of adults. Regardless of your differences, each of you has your adulthood in common. And as adults, we shape the messages that form the way that children view the world. When I was a child, fortunately, my mother was clear in sending me an abundance of positive messages about her values. Among them being that love and not gender is the foundation for a marriage. These messages that we send our children about what does and does not constitute a legitimate marriage, they're about much more than the law. They affect the way that children look at and treat their peers and themselves from now until they're older. Today you will make a choice and the combined results of your choices will send one of two messages. Your message will be one of equal protection or of disparity under the law, but it will also be one of social capital. Your choice will send a message to children that they are fundamentally equal or that some of them are better than others. And if you believe that that kind of message doesn't have very serious repercussions, then I beg of you to think more carefully. There will be a time when you reflect on your life and your choices, and during that time there will be things that you wish you had the power to change. Representatives, today is tomorrow's yesterday. Now is your opportunity to make a decision that you are proud of. I want you to realize that today, if you do not support this bill, you are telling me, a woman who happens to be attracted to other women, that I am not as good as you are that I do not deserve to be given access to the same opportunities that you have access to. That because of something that I had no control over and that does not interfere with any other individual's pursuit of happiness, that I should not be able to fully pursue my own. That I should be treated differently than you. Fortunately, I am an adult. And should you tell me that, directly or indirectly, I will have the good sense to know that you are wrong. Unfortunately, I would not be the only person you would be telling this to. You would be telling this to children. Representatives, you are better than that. Years ago, when I first told my then 13-year-old sister that I planned to marry a woman one day, she looked me in the eyes and said something simplistically beautiful. So, let her be a lesson to us all. Thank you very much for your testimony. Next person.